Lesson 30, Singing and Playing. In this lesson, we'll sing a simple 2-5-1 melody, and then we'll play the melody through the keys. We'll start in concert E and ascend by half steps. You can visit mattauto.org and download a PDF for the melody to this exercise. I found that by singing everything I play and trying to play everything I sing, my ear has steadily developed over the years. Let's first play the melody so you can hear how it sounds, and then we'll try to sing it. Oftentimes when I sing the melody, I lightly finger the correct keys on the saxophone. This is a great exercise if you have carpal tunnel syndrome or repetitive strain injury because it doesn't utilize any actual pressure on your wrists or fingers. So again, da 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 Singing the melody will be more difficult than playing it on your instrument. This is a sign that it's more difficult for you to hear than it is for you to play. It's also a signal that your ear needs to develop. Let's go up one more half step. You will hear that right there, I was slightly out of tune. I hadn't modulated exactly a half step above. You'll recognize that this is an opportunity for you to improve your ear. So play the melody on your instrument and try to match pitch with your voice. <laughs>
legislative variation. So be aware that sometimes your fingers will not reflect your voice accurately. Although the variation may be melodic, it's not exactly what you're singing. So try to maintain some sort of melodic integrity and match your fingers to exactly what you're singing. <laughs> discrepancies between what I'm fingering and what I'm singing. So this is an opportunity for me to recognize that my technique is somewhat flawed in that what I hear in my mind and what my body thinks is the appropriate way of producing that sound is inaccurate. So I have an opportunity to polish the connection between my inner voice or my mind, my mind's ear, and my body and my fingers. some of the range for your voice is challenging and you may want to try to put things down an octave when you sing them and since I'm not a vocalist you can hear that I strain a bit when I try to sing too high but nonetheless this will really help develop your ears and over time you'll see great results in terms of what you hear recognize and what you can play you'll also find that music becomes a bit more satisfying because when you hear a melody in your mind and you reproduce it with your body it's a very sort of harmonious experience which increases your enjoyment of the music so that's lesson number 30 singing and playing this is Matt Otto thank you for listening <laughs>